Hello, my YouTube peeps. It is January the 2nd, 2017. Happy New Year. I think this is my first video of the new year. And I am coming on to discuss a few things. Um, mainly, as I think I said on the on my, one of my previous videos, how I was going to try this seven-day um, no sugar, no grains, no, you know, all of that stuff, and I had said I, I had um, been adventurous there because you are allowed meat, and I had said I just wanted to do beans. Um, so today was supposed to be my day three, I think, um, as you hear I said supposed to be, uh, because, well, I don't know if I, I failed, but I feel like I failed um, only because I have an issue here, which is another reason why I'm coming. So, I ended up eating a box of raisins, you know, like a, you know, very small box. I thought I had one in there, but I ate it, I think. Um, small box of raisins, like the one ounce, and, um, what else did I have? Oh, and this really wasn't a fail, but I did have, um, some chicken. And so... I guess the, the problem that I was the problem that I'm having with doing this is since the the VSG I can literally say to myself okay I'm, I'm you know well I think I'm hungry or whatever that hunger um, or I need to eat something and then I said okay I feel like having I'll just use this as an example oh I feel like having some chicken and vegetables I'll go in, I'll make the chicken and vegetables and literally either by the, while I'm making it or by the time it's cooked, it just, the, either the smell of it, the look of it, um, and, or sometimes the, the, just the thought, the taste of it makes me ill. I mean, like nauseous, just even thinking about it. Um, I don't know if anybody, if that happens to anybody else, but it's, it is starting to cause me a bit of a problem. One, because it's causing me to waste a lot of food. So I do, of course, I don't throw the food away, but I try to put it in the refrigerator and wait till I'm hungrier or, or I, I desire that thing to eat. Um, and it just seems to never come. Or like, for instance, for this thing, I had bought some great northern white beans. Um, and I really, really wanted them. And I was just imagining the creaminess of the beans. And I was just going to, you know, I said, I, you know, I made, and I didn't make that many, but it did come out to be like a, a bowl full, a Tupperware bowl full. And I'm always thinking, oh, yeah, my kids will eat some. No, they're not. Um, so anyway, I, I ended up making these beans and I did eat some of them. But then it got to the point where I just, I couldn't eat them anymore. Um, so those are in the refrigerator. Then I, I said to myself, I want some kale. And well, I had bought some kale for something else and some um, carrots. And that's, that was what I wanted. It was in my mind. I said, that's nice and helpful. It's, with, it's in the program. And I'm going to eat that. Made it in the crock pot. I just really have an affinity to it. I don't. I don't know what it is. Now the things that I can eat on a consistent basis, but I don't want to eat a lot of I, nuts. Nuts usually don't do anything. You know, I can do that. And fruit, I can do that. Um, even sometimes, like yesterday, even when the chicken was cooking, I can smell. It just smelled. Even though it was halfway cooked, I could still kind of smell raw chicken. It seemed like. Um. And it, mm -mm, I don't know, I just, I couldn't do that. Um, I can drink coffee for a couple of days there because I used to always drink my coffee black pre-surgery. But then with the surgery, um, it was a little bit too harsh on my stomach, so I started adding sugar-free creamer. Well, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, for a couple days there, the thought of putting sugar-free creamer in my coffee freaked me out. I just couldn't do it. And I, I mean, I'm, I don't know what it is. So I'm asking anybody else if they have that problem. Like I said, nuts doesn't do it to me. Fruits, I can eat all day. Um, so now, okay, so in this morning I woke up and I had a 
box of raisins. I tried to eat. Okay, and this is another problem I'm having also. I had bought this Laura bar. Okay. And now I had bought one, a pecan, pecan one, pecan pie one around um, the beginning of December. And I just happened to remember that date because I had taken it to the family function that I went to. I ate half. I just now found the other half like in my bag. <laughs> Um, so I had to, you know, of course I threw that away, but, um, I was, you know, able to eat half of it. So when I went to the store and I saw the, the Laura bars, <clears throat> I said, oh, I could eat that. Okay. And I'm kind of mad because I think those bars are like $2 each. And I don't know now it, it's just then I liked it then. And it's, it just seems like my taste buds switch on and off and change so frequently. And it's causing me to waste a lot of food um so one thing i've decided is i'm not going to make anything else in the crock pot because when you cook in the crock pot you tend to overcook and then if i put it in the freezer i i literally just forget about it and it becomes old so old that i i can't remember so i've been trying to like really minimize my sizes or think of ideas one thing i'm going to do is do a lot of frozen so i can just take literally a handful out at a time and and you know eat that um so those are the issues that i'm having like the the rapid change of my taste buds um the uh just over like cook, even when i'm trying to cook a really small amount it still seems like it's too much because my kids won't eat it they eat what they're eating i guess my stuff to them is not appealing um, so I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to resolve that. I do want to go to the store and I was going to get some of those tuna pouches. Um, and hopefully I can get those. I said I wasn't going to make any more fresh beans, but I was going to use canned beans. And then I was going to resolve and say, okay, if I open this can of beans and I have to, you know, I'm going to try to eat at least a, a half to a third at a time and um and just kind of make myself eat it um i'm not really a fan of making myself eat something or even eating things that i don't like they're like there's some things that people say are really healthy for you and i've tried to force myself almost to eat them buy them and like them and i and i don't and it, it makes no sense to keep buying these things um and keep keep buying these things and then not really want them. Um, so I don't know. Maybe somebody else out there has this problem. How do you resolve it? Um, and sometimes I can literally be eating something. This is going to make you laugh. But now prior to making this video, I was getting a little hungry. And I said, okay, this is what I'm going to have. And I'm going to show you what I made. Hopefully you can see it. Um, hope you can see that. It's um, hummus, some of these nut thin crackers, a slab of orange, and I have three grape tomatoes and cucumbers. Now, so I hope you saw that. Now, I'm going to try my best to, to eat that um, after I, I make this video, only because I know that I need to, to eat something. But even as I'm sitting here, and I, like I really, really wanted that. Even as I'm sitting here, I can feel myself saying, you know, the hummus just don't look too good anymore. The, the cucumbers still look good to me. The tomatoes still look good. I was going to try to dip them in the hummus. So I don't know. I don't know about that um, or how I'm going to resolve that. I have a couple ideas. And my main idea is stop trying to follow a system or a program but to follow what I would like and enjoy eating within reason which isn't a whole heck of a lot um just like now like if somebody were to offer me a piece of chicken now I, the thought of it makes me ill just in my mind I'm getting ill um just thinking about it for some reason so I don't know. I don't know if that's an issue or a problem. You all tell me. 
what you think. I'm going to go off now because I want to really try to get this. But I am going to come back later because today is my daughter's birthday. She doesn't feel well, but I'm waiting for her to wake up because I want to have us to do something and maybe we will take you along. Okay, toodles. We'll take you along somewhat, but... Okay, well, toodles, um, I'm going to go and try to uh, get some of this down. All right, bye-bye, my peeps, and may the grace and peace of God be with you today.